There is a big news coming from Tesla Giga Berlin friends. Tesla will produce 500 Tesla Model Ys per week for a month at Giga Berlin thanks to a waiver from local authorities. But the American manufacturer of electric vehicles is still awaiting final approval from the land authorities to start mass production of electric vehicles at Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up if you find this report interesting and helpful. So the first Tesla parts will soon be assembled in Grünheide at Giga Berlin even before the final approval process has been completed. Thanks to a special permit to company, the, the company is now allowed to test the system again and manufacture thousands of Model Y bodies. I've already reported over the weekend that Tesla is allowed to build 2,000 vehicles per month at Giga Berlin as, as a a test but what we're learning today is that tesla is allowed to build 500 vehicles per week probably no more than 500 uh, per week uh, grünheide is especially also interesting for observers because um, the the land on giga berlin is uh, actually brandenburg is interested to show that brandenburg is a great place to do business for tesla and other companies like tesla since the operating license of tesla giga berlin has not yet been granted tesla has now made another application. Even before the final blessing from the authorities and courts, this ensured that the system for producing the car bodies could be extensively now tested. As can be seen from the addendum to the approval of this preliminary application, with which Tesla obtained a permit to continue the system test, Tesla now wants to put its system with significantly higher capacity to the test after a very very small test run last year. In the process shop, actually in the press shop, the company is aiming to manufacture a total of 26,000 body parts in order to test a total of 13 different systems and fine tune them for operations. This is a four weeks system test at Giga Berlin. These then in turn serve as the basis for a test of the entire line okay so you're seeing that tesla is going to test the system separately and then test uh, the entire line um, which around 500 car bodies are to be fully assembled per week in the entire line the paint shop will also be included in the preliminary operational test and should be allowed to run for up to eight hours a day since tesla is talking about the total of 2000 bodies that are required for the test run it will probably take around four weeks with the first detailed operational test and submission of all necessary documents the start of production in Giga Berlin seems to be getting closer and closer with the final permit now it will be interesting to see when the first model Y will officially roll off the assembly line and I mean the real model Y for sale not the test model Y and I have no idea what Tesla will do with this five, uh, 2000 or 2600 um, uh, Tesla parts Parts. Uh, probably Tesla can retrofit them after the final approval and sell them at discounted price to employees or people who would like them. I don't know. What are your thoughts, friends? Let me know. What do you think about these things? When do you think Tesla Giga Berlin will finally start? But I feel that we're getting closer and closer. My estimate is probably by the end of January, actually early February, because we still have to give Tesla two, uh, four weeks time to, uh, to get this uh, entire line tested. This is Armin Hari from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon in our next report let's move on to the next tesla story I have two positive announcements about Tesla Giga Berlin this morning. The first announcement is about the results of public objections against Tesla Giga Berlin. There is a quote from approval authorities regarding that, that I'm going to share with you today. It's from today. And the second is what the approval authorities currently are working on when it comes to approval. Welcome back on this Monday morning, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla announcements and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and please also give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful and interesting. So experts expect approval of Tesla Giga Berlin in a few weeks. Reports Brandenburg's public radio uh, today. 
And the first announcement is that the officials are currently checking the plant safety precautions for accidents in the factory. So, you know, an, uh, approval of Tesla Giga Berlin is that the approval authorities need to go through different phases, checking this, checking that, make sure this works well, make sure that works well, what happens if there is an accident. So today they're working on uh, plant safety precautions that Tesla has in place for Giga, Giga, Giga Berlin. In, in case of an accident in the factory. And the second regards the objections from population against the uh, Giga Berlin. The objections from the population to the industrial settlement, meanwhile, did not result in any quote unquote significant obstacles to approval, as the uh, LFU announced on Friday. So, this is a good news that the objections that have slowed down the Giga Berlin's approval for so many months now have not resulted in any significant obstacles to approval as the LFU announced on Friday. Now, what is LFU? LFU is the environment, state environment agency, which is very, very pop, uh, powerful and is the approval authority for Giga Berlin. As I reported on Saturday, Tesla is now allowed to test 2,000 bodies in its electric vehicle factory Giga Berlin in Grünheide. The state environment agency allowed this last Friday. In October of last year, in 2021, the LFU had already given Tesla pre-approval to build 250 bodies. With this, the company wanted to test how well the press shop and paint shop of Giga Berlin work. According to LFU, Tesla has informed the authorities that the resulting bodies are of poor quality. This is why Tesla needs more time and more testing. This is why Tesla has requested uh, 2000 bodies to be built as test and wants to test the production machines again uh, with the construction of another 2000 bodies. The LFU allowed this in a pre-approval on Friday as I reported Saturday. However, the company is not allowed to sell these vehicles because the factory has st uh, still not received the final approval. Tesla has only built so far with pre-approvals and will have to tear everything down if uh, the final approval is not given for any reason. And as I said in the beginning, experts expect Giga Berlin's approval in a few weeks. The officials are currently checking the planned safety precautions for accidents in the factory, the objections for the population uh, from the population to the industrial settlement Giga Berlin, meanwhile, did not result in any quote unquote significant obstacles to approval, which is good news as the LFU announced Fridays. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts on all of this, I think it's good that we see that the approval authorities are actively working, checking this, checking that, and it is making very good sense that the experts expect now the approval to come in a few weeks. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Look forward to our next Tesla coverage today. We will have, I'm planning five Tesla stories today. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. I look forward to reading your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day, and let's move on to our next Tesla, Tesla Giga story. Tesla Berlin's battery production building is coming along and it looks like Tesla will soon be able to complete the battery production building. Tobias Lind, who provides drone flyovers over Tesla Giga Berlin, has a new video from today with lots of great information showing how closer Tesla is getting toward completing its 4680 battery factory. Tobias says the cell production at Giga Berlin's building got more internal walls and more beams are placed in the formation section. You can see that the, those segments from these pictures. In, the, in this video segment, we are seeing that the 4680 battery production building is really coming along and Tesla is acting very swiftly. It seems to me that friends, uh, with a few short months, Tesla will be able to bring in the 4680 battery production equipment to Giga Berlin and start installing them in this building as Tesla has already installed a lot of these equipments at Gigafactory Texas. Also seems like Tesla is building a four-story building for the battery production at Giga Berlin. Tesla needs this space to build that huge EV battery production capacity, which Elon Musk once said will be the world's largest uh, battery production capacity uh, once it reaches its full um, capacity. I think from 250 to 300 giga, uh, uh, gigawatt hours. Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg is Tesla's first manufacturing location in Europe and Tesla 
Tesla's most advanced, sustainable and efficient facility yet, states Tesla on its website. Slated for completion this year, early in January, hopefully, it will manufacture hundreds of thousands of Model Y vehicles and millions of battery cells for Tesla's electric vehicles. Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg Giga Berlin will be the first location in Europe to manufacture electric vehicle battery cells in-house together with electric vehicles friends let me know your thoughts on all of these developments good developments from giga berlin battery production this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news announcements and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and i would appreciate giving us thumbs up and liking this video sharing in social media that greatly helps me guys have a wonderful day and look forward for more tesla stories coming today i have some very interesting stories coming uh, let's move on to our next tesla story